Okay, Susan, good written description. Thank you so much for sharing that. Let's go ahead and jump right over to your website. Okay. Um, yeah, again, I mean, I have, rec I have mentioned this a few times. This is just right next to impossible to read. I, I mean, I really, really, I, you know, at this point, I am going to highly, highly, highly recommend that you reconsider this approach, approach and, and maybe slip some, some, something legible in there. I don't, I'm not even sure I would use this hand render type. It's just, it's, it's impossible to read. I mean, I know what I'm looking at and I still can't read it. So um, I recommend doing that. Let's go ahead and reduce the size here a little bit. All right, so we have uh, Facebook. We got our social media over here. Let's go to gallery and resume. So let's go ahead and open up that resume page. And okay, this isn't a resume. No, this is not a resume. You will need download resume here. Yeah, this is a profile. This isn't a resume. We got to get a resume in here. Okay, there's your resume. Um, okay, I, I would recommend compiling your resume on your letterhead. Right now, this is really, really diluting the the uh, informational hierarchy as the viewer has got a propensity to look at the, these areas first, and, there, and there's a, a very, very good chance that the rest is going to be um, maybe even disregarded. And that all points to typographic hierarchy, informational hierarchy, and the use of um, um, creating emphasis to create hierarchy. Okay, right now it looks like you're using images to try to create hierarchy, but that's not working. It's kind of working against you a little bit. So I would recommend recomposing this. Now, if you go back to uh, week two, I believe it was week two where we submitted our resumes, I think there are so many um, videos in there with with recommendations for for resumes and there's a lot of written um, um, just take a look at the feedback all of the feedback not just yours um, there's a plenty of feedback in there that will be applicable to your work as well so that's the resume now we go back to the website and we go let's go home okay and then let's go to gallery okay uh, okay, so I'm not seeing your logo on your, your letterhead. Um, the business card, I think that's a sticker. I'm sorry, the leave behind piece, that's a sticker. Um, this is different than this. So that points to an in, in inconsistency in branding. Um, This is your letterhead, and it looks like you have compiled your resume on your letterhead. See all this clicking I'm doing? We shouldn't have to do this. We shouldn't have to click twice to get to your actual working version of your resume. Um, so that, yeah, that's a problem. I would recommend just that the resume is visible, not your, your LinkedIn profile, but your resume, your actual resume on your resume page. Not, nothing else other than your global navigation. No images, just your resume, okay? Um, so, okay, so yeah, let's get some consistency going in that, that logo. I would definitely recommend changing that type, that uh, type right here so it's legible, and then go ahead and replace that logo in the rest of the in the rest of the collateral pieces. Um, okay, and then another thing that you might consider doing is crafting your logo right. I'm sorry, your your um, resume right on your letterhead. That's a really, really interesting technique that points to an understanding and branding, and I think it's a really, really good idea. So, okay, so right now, if, if from this page right here, we have no way to get back home without, and there's no, yeah, we you would want to include some sort of global navigation on every page that will take us back to the links associated with the home page. Right now I have to use the system back arrow and we know that is definitely not a, a, a situation you want to put your viewer in. Okay, let's go ahead and jump out to Facebook and see what we have here. 
Facebook service must be really slow today. This is it, this has been going on all day. It's really taking a long time to open up the Facebook page. Okay, so still trying. Still see what I'm saying? Okay. okay here we go so here's your facebook page which is not branded so i recommend um branding your facebook page according to your designer's branding okay and then also i'm not seeing i'm not what is that Okay, I'm not seeing a link back to your website in in the social media page. So that's something that's very, very important. You definitely want to get linked back to your website. Website should link to social media. Social media should link to the website. You've got a Twitter link. Okay, so you're branded on your Twitter link and... But again, I don't see a link to your letterhead. I'm sorry to your, I'm sorry. I don't see a link to your website here. So recommendations here is do not include a link to your Facebook page unless it's a professionally, a professional um, uh, Facebook page. You don't want to link to your personal um, Facebook page. You want to link to a professional Facebook page that is branded. Uh, if if you're if you're not going to include branding, remove the link. You've got your Twitter, which that should come first, as that is one of the required um, social media outlets. And then the Twitter page is branded, but we need to get a link back to the website from the Twitter page. All right, so those are my recommendations. Um, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. But I would like to see those changes being made for your final submission. Again, Susan, let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you very much.